drone. So if you're like me and you wonder what the heck that little VR symbol is in the drone apps, well, we're gonna find out today. Let's go. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Always appreciate it. It's good to see you. This is your first time here. My name is Keith and this is Alien Drones. I do mostly tech, drones, photography, tips and tutorials and industry news. If that's something that's of interest to you, you might want to hit that subscribe button. That'll let you get notified when there's cool new stuff that you might be interested in. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so every drone that I test here on this channel, I typically see some little button that says VR. And it's so funny because some of the other people that I watch that do drone reviews, they brush across that little symbol too. Yeah, yes, I do watch other, I do watch other channels, of course. Yeah, no, not that dork. No, cool ones like, so I thought, well, what is this VR mode on the drone apps and what does it do for us? So when I decided to check out what the heck this mode really is, it's for some VR goggles. Now, I didn't have any, so I reached out to a company that does it and the company's name is Destech. Really quality company. When I reached out, they were really quick to reply, sent me these over to test so that I can show you guys how they work. Uh, so really top-notch company, really good support. Uh, so I thought I'm gonna hook it up and I haven't done it yet. I have not uh, even put this on myself. So you're gonna see it the first time when I'm seeing it. Now, I'm gonna put these together and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the image inside, but we'll see what we can do. So I just got done with the uh, flying the Beeline. So I have a little bit of battery left on that one. So I'm gonna go ahead because I noticed again, it has this VR option. And if you haven't seen that uh, Beeline video, I'll put that up here uh, so that you guys can uh, take a look at that review as well because it, it did seem to fly pretty well. So go ahead and take a look at that as well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the goggles here and turn on this VR mode. When you turn on this VR mode, it turns into a dual image, uh, kind of one for your left eye and one for your right eye. And now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put it in because we should be all ready with the remote. We can go ahead and uh, arm the drone and take off. So let's go ahead and do that. So to do that, it just pops out here. This is, sits right in here, just kind of goes right in, sits in there real clean, snap it in. And now I can see an image through the goggles here. Uh, that's pretty, that's pretty, pretty damn cool, I gotta say. It looks 3D, uh, it's, uh, it's I'm, I'm, I'm kind of freaked out here. Okay, so let's go ahead and arm this and see what this looks like. Here, I'm gonna get it started here first, I make sure I'm stable, and then I'm gonna put these goggles back on. This is pretty cool, I gotta say. Wow. Oh, wow. I tell you what, I could uh, use a chair while I'm doing this because um, it is it is really a something. Uh, it is really, it's a lot more virtual than I thought. I mean, it's kind of uh, freaking me out a little bit, to be honest. Okay, so let's go up in the sky here and see what it looks like. Wow. I gotta say, <laughs> this is pretty damn amazing. Uh, I wish I could show you guys what this looks like because it is, it is uh, pretty cool, I gotta say. Now, I don't know if I'd wanna fly like this all the time, to be honest, but it is pretty interesting. Um, it is, uh, I mean, I could see where you'd get uh, vertigo real easy, uh, but it is so clear uh, and it's, it's, it has some depth to it. It is uh, pretty interesting, I have to say. <laughs> okay, so if I can explain this, it looks, it looks very 3D. Uh, and it, it definitely does that. Now there is a little, little bit of a lag. I don't know if it's trying, there wasn't before when I was doing this, there didn't seem to be any control lag. So I don't know if it's because of uh, the, the uh, virtual mode that there's dual screen that it's, or dual sides or something. So it's, it, uh, it definitely is uh, 3D though, but I, honestly, if I were to do this very long, I would have to get a chair because it is, uh, it's not like an FPV where you have a flat first person view. It, is, it does have depth. So your depth perception is distorted a little bit uh, because of uh, how this works. So in a nutshell, do these work? They certainly do. If, if you want to have a different experience while you're flying a drone, 
Uh, this is pretty cool, I have, to, I have to say. Here we go, we can come down a little bit more. Wow, they are pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, land this here because we have a proof of concept anyway that this works and then I'm gonna give you a couple more thoughts here before I close out. All right, and before you ask, that was a manual landing. That was not an automated return to home. The battery was beeping that we were low, but uh, I manually landed it, so that's probably why it hit the pad quite so centered. All right, so let's just talk a little bit about these goggles here. Uh, so first, fit and finish wise, these things are incredible. Very, very nice looking, uh, really quality, uh, kind of, it's all plastic, of course, but even the headbands and everything, uh, they have the little kind of flaps here for the light leaks. Really, really nice. The optics in there had uh, a few little plastic uh, covers on them. I took those off. It is very clean, uh, it really is. And, and I don't know the price right now, but of course I'll put that up here uh, so that you guys can take a look at it. But these are, a, these are a quality item. These are really nice. I know I did uh, see a couple of companies that had some uh, that weren't the uh, Destec model and they were just cheap and people said that uh, they couldn't see anything. And my eyes aren't the best, but it was really very clear in here, it really was. Uh, so, but if you do have a prescription, uh, I, I don't know how that would work. I think they actually go over the top of these glasses pretty easily. So my guess is if you did have a prescription, you probably could leave those glasses on and that would help uh, even get make it more clear for you. For the price, if you do like kind of virtual things or want to see a more of a 3D look while you're flying, this is a pretty fun thing. Uh, the phone just snaps in here in the front. It's, a, it's very simple. It just pops right in the front here, sits in there real nice. Uh, it fit real well. I had no problems with it, popped in. So that's what that little VR button does on the uh, drone apps uh, that we all see and nobody really talks about. Uh, it's for these fellas right here. And Destech, thank you very much for sending me these. Uh, I think it's an awesome product. Uh, you guys have done a nice job. Uh, one thing I would love to see, and I know it's probably a, a big ask, but I'd love to be able to touch the app uh, with the remote or something to where you could move around and touch record or touch the orbit mode, things like that, while you have uh, the phone and the goggles. Uh, because right now you have to kind of put it in the mode and you can fly, but you don't really have any options of changing anything on the phone unless you take it out, change it, and then put it back in. Now, could that work? Sure, you could do that. Well, and of course, recording, it's always the guy next door that's got to start his lawnmower. There's snow on the ground, but he's starting his lawnmower. Okay. All right, it's always that guy. It's always that guy. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? There's always that guy when you hit the record button. Anyway, I'll put the links in the description, of course, so that you can go ahead and uh, check them out if you want. Uh, now we know exactly what that VR button does in all the drone apps that we always see. So anybody asked, you can say, hey, go to Alien Drones. He told me all about it. He showed us what it was like. With that, thanks you guys for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And of course, as always, if you found anything of interest or anything you didn't know before, click that like button, share it. I always appreciate the share wherever it is, Instagram, Facebook, always appreciate that share. And of course, until next time and next video, good flying.